I'm Greg Sousa. I live in Burbank. Uh, I wanted to follow up on uh, public comment from earlier this evening. Um, I want to point out a, a couple of technicalities, let's call them. Uh, the first is that, again, uh, I, I hate to have to keep repeating this, but the Burbank Unified School District is the client in the Baez matter. And so it's not a matter of seeing what the JPA wants to do. Second, lawsuits serve many functions. One of them is to provide disincentives for certain behaviors. Lawsuits serve to remind everyone to be more careful and refrain from harming others. The sanctions that were handed down by the court serve to remind the school district to be more careful. If we insulate ourselves or if we insulate the district from any consequence, if our only skin in the game here is $10,000, then where's the disincentive? Where is the incentive to prevent this from happening in the future? So I finally, I would like to remind you, well, I would like to remind the community at large that it's difficult to believe that this sort of thing might happen at our district. Nobody wants to believe that the people we put in charge, the people to whom we hand over our kids in the morning, would let this sort of thing happen. Believe me, it happens. There are instances of questionable conduct that go on more often than we would like, and instead of trying to hand them off to another agency and avoiding the consequences, we should face up to them, deal with them, learn from them, and avoid the mistakes in the future. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. I am very disappointed to hear the remarks made tonight by my friend, Larry Applebaum. This isn't an automobile accident. This isn't where Larry might get canceled. This is a case where all of you, whether you're new or old, are now responsible. Is this case going to be appealed again? I already told you, I've been through this. And I never appreciated it. And I resent the people that subjected me and my family to it. But now, I'm a 67-year-old man and I'm still in this town. And I see the mindset is still here. This is not about a car accident involving one person. It involves all the people of the city of Burbank. The JPA has to learn a lesson. Whether it was Jan Britz or who it was that pushed this thing and went after this woman that way, who was a young lady at the time. We know what Steve Bradley did or didn't do, don't we? We know what happened. Well, if you don't, it's your fault. After all this time, read the transcripts. I happen to know Judge Murphy, and Judge Murphy had to be pretty put out. And I don't mean the old Judge Murphy. I mean the young lady, Judge Murphy, and I know what I'm talking about. I resent coming down here to talk to my Board of Education and finding out that it's equated to a car accident. Poppycock! You are the governing body. You are the trustees. And Mr. James works for you. And if this mess continues, someone should be fired. The taxpayers don't deserve to go through this, and the young lady doesn't deserve to go through it. But the community doesn't need to go through it. I respect that our superintendent is going to look into the matter, but how much time is left on the clock? And you might want to check and see this great attorney, according to the state of California, and you might want to check and see who else she represents, who you're in bed with. You might want to check and see if there might be some contractors that have to do with the Burbank Housing Corporation. You know, there's a reason why people hire certain attorneys, isn't there? Haven't we learned that as grown-ups? Why you use certain law firms and you avoid certain law firms? Check it out. I'm discouraged. <laughs>